Hello, hello, hello. Thank you for coming back and visiting our channel. I greatly appreciate it. And if you're enjoying our journey, please remember to like and subscribe below. So just keep checking in with everyone. Wanted to give a little bit of an update. We started this journey on June 17th, 2019. Um, it is September 3rd, 2019. And to date, we have cut out paper plates, paper towels, paper-based bath tissue, and plastic straws, it's a big one, and water bottles. Not completely cut out the water bottles, but we have, for the most part, unless it is guests coming over or we are going somewhere where we're not able to take a big container of water, we bring some bottled water. We were drinking Costco sized cases of water every week. That's a lot of water. So we got a water jug and we get the five gallon bottles and we refill them at the refilling station. The kids are demanded <laughs> to use a reusable cup when we're at home. One cup all day, that's your cup of water. You know, we have our turvis cups that we bring out and it just saves so many bottles of water. So that's a big one. Um, the other one is the plastic straws. We obviously do that for environmental purposes and for the ocean life. It's highly dangerous for these sea creatures to come in contact with these, this trash. Um, and there's really no purpose for it. There's no reason why we all can't have a stainless steel or a plastic straw to use. They make them so convenient now. They have reusable straws that can go and fold down. Um, they have carrying cases. They even have a little cleaning brush that comes with the packet that goes and connects to a keychain. So it really is just a matter of you changing one little habit and then changing another habit and then maybe another habit. And then eventually you look back and you're like, oh, I've really cut my waist down. I used to drink X amount of bottles of water a day. I used to use five straws a day because I got a new straw every time I got a new drink. Or I used to go buy a coffee every day and I got a plastic cup that I would just throw out after an hour of drinking it. Such a difference such a difference and just thinking that way like this goes in the recycling bin all paper products all plastic products whatever it may be and teaching our children too because that is going to set them up for the future they're just going to automatically know we got to recycle you know we have to put this here and let's not waste these products and we don't need to grab something that is just disposable just because it's a convenience let's take the extra time to clean the dish or whatever the case may be. <clears throat> so I must say, my family is adjusting quite well, quite well, um, and I'm very happy for that. And so I just wanted to give you kind of an update of how that's going. Um, I will do a blog post so you can read more about it. Um, but uh, you know, like I said, it wasn't like the easiest thing but it also wasn't the hardest. It just takes a little bit extra time to clean that straw or to clean that extra cup or, you know, for the paper towels, I stopped using them. I still have tree free towels on hand if I need them at dispose, but I don't use them to clean up every single mess. I'd wipe my counters down 20 times a day. Now I use a dish towel um, and I use it pretty much all day unless it gets disgustingly dirty but then I wash them and then I can reuse them over and over and over again, rather than use them once and have to throw them away. So these little tidbits, things to think about, I'll bullet point it all out, kind of give you our journey. Um, but you know, kids, I think a lot of concerns that I've heard is, oh, my kids aren't gonna do that. And it's just easier to have a bottle for them. Yeah, it may. Um, but it's easy to have a refillable bottle too. I bought all the kids their own little refillable bottle and they take it to school every day instead of a bottled water. We take it when we go to the store or we're out running errands on a Saturday or Sunday. I said, make sure you have a drink, make sure you fill up your water 
your water container with the water in the garage in our little uh, five gallon tank. You know what? You get them in the habit and it becomes easy. They are so adaptable and really they probably do the best. Um, so again, I'll put kind of like a little blog post together in written form. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me. You can reach us on all things social media at Shop the Green Planet, or you may email the, email us, excuse me, at shopthegreenplanet at gmail.com. I am really excited for some upcoming things. We got some products coming out that are branded and it's good stuff. Good, good stuff. So stick with us and I'm here if you have any questions. Thanks so much. Bye.